Officers are standing in front of a rather creepy looking like, Bob, bro, like you extra quick with it. Like, hold on, my guy. All right, we got SCP-026 after school retention. Uh, I guess that's a play on detention. But uh, let, let's let's see what this is talking about. And not uh, wait, Dre Mations, bro. Who is this? That dead look like the Dr. Bob uh, profile picture. He makes it. Okay, 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 okay. Anywho, yeah, let's check this out, bro. Let's see what it's talking about. Go ahead, slap with a light, and let's go. A pair of urban explorers are standing in front of a rather creepy looking public school building. One explains to the other that it has been abandoned for years, though no one in the town seems to know exactly why. The two pull a board off one of the windows and climb through. The inside looks pretty much like they were expecting. Their flashlights reveal that years of squatters, teens partying, and wild animals have left plenty of refuse and debris lying around. There are two wings- Yo, Ash! Ash, I promise you. I promise you. Your pug, your little, your little bulldog that you love so much, you, it will be missing tonight if you keep on playing with me. Yo, Toby, handle, handle your son, bro. I'm really, I'm not doing this with him today. In the Discord, I'll do it with you, but I'm not doing it with him in chat. I promise you. Branching off the central portion of the building, they pick one of them to explore and start walking down the hall. As they make their way down past the graffiti tagged walls, they stop to investigate one of the classrooms. It looks to be in the same bad state as the rest of the building, but incredibly, they're still. I, I, I just realized wait, why did they walk into an abandoned school again? You said the caucasity? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let me. I know people on YouTube losing their minds. Like, why are you going back? I just need to. I need to. I, I need to see why. Yes, you are. Be looking public school building. One explains to the other that it has been abandoned for years, though no one in the town seems to know exactly why. The two pull a board off one of the windows and climb through. Oh my God, bro! Here, 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 Sherm. Here goes Sherm right here. Here go Nick's right here, bro. What? Okay, you know what? Everything they, everything that's about to happen, they they got going for them, bro. It, it's it's lit. Cause why would you ever go inside of a school building? A bit. Okay. All right, bro. But incredibly, they're still writing on the chalkboard, as if the teacher stopped in the middle of a lesson and walked out. There's even a shriveled old apple still on the desk. As they exit the classroom back into the hallway, one of them stops. Wasn't the graffiti on the wall different before? Impossible. They must be mistaken. They keep walking and come to a stairwell. Time to explore the upper floors. They head up the stairs to the second floor and poke their head out. Everything looks to be about the same as on the first floor. They go back into the stairwell and start heading up again. It feels like they've been walking up the stairs for a long time, though. They should be all the way at the roof by now. They finally reach a door. It must lead to a taller part of the building they couldn't see from the ground outside. They open the door and see the second floor again. How could this be? The two look at each other. They've explored a lot of strange abandoned places but nothing has creeped them out like this before. They head back down the stairs, and after <laughs> only a few steps, they are back on the first floor. Something is really wrong with this place. Maybe it's best if- It's an abandoned school. Something wrong with y'all, bro. There's something wrong with y'all. How they- Yeah, where are my glasses at, bro? I'm not fooling. I'm not fooling with these two right now. I don't care what SCP this is, bro. You already got me messed up. The storyline already making me mad they leave they start walking back towards the entrance but one grabs the other and points into a classroom isn't this the room they went in before it has to and now and now you're being nosy who cares about the fine small details get you to be the same apple is on the desk but the complicated <laughs> physics lesson has been erased now yo, the chalkboard has just yo. a simple phrase written on it the children oh my God, used to bro. sing as you scream and All run right, out bro. of the classroom but which way is the entrance the hall appears to stretch on in either direction before turning at 90 degree angles. This isn't right. The entrance was definitely visible from outside the classroom before. They pick a direction and start to run. The hallways seem to go on and on, turning in ways that should double back on themselves. Bro, I cannot focus on this video, bro. Oh my. Yo, Ash, bro. I promise you. I absolutely promise you, bro. This is not what you want. Not in. We're not doing this on Twitch, Ash. Get your ass in the Discord. Every single time you come in here in the Twitch and decide you want to get feisty, you're just going to get timed out. I'm only doing this with you in Discord, all right? 
<laughs> Yo, I can't take him seriously, bro. You just gonna keep me in timed out, Ash. Oh my god. Anywho. But as for these two, yeah, they they I hope the SCP get them, bro. Double back on themselves, but they still can't find the entrance. They try going back up through a stairwell, but <sighs> just like before, there appears to be either too many or not enough stairs between the floors. The explorers keep running, checking rooms for a way out. Somehow they keep finding that same room with the rotten apple on the desk. They're panicking mm. now. Yo, that's low key. That, yo, that's low key worse than like. That's low key worse than like. I don't know. Purgatory? Because that's what it is, right? You run into a room and then you go back and forth and keep looping, bro. Purgatory? I would rather be burned than go to purgatory, bro. Y'all know what purgatory is like? Like when you keep going looping back in the same rooms over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, bro? No, sir. No, sir. Not me. Not me. Not me. Every time they look away, the graffiti on the wall changes, or a new classroom door appears in the hall. You said we got to do a tutor session so that they don't got to worry about their progress reports? Man, I already offered everybody in the Discord. I said, look, if you need help with school, just hit me up. You know what I mean? Hit me up. You know, we can get it back in the Discord. But nobody ever took me up on my offer, so, you know, that, that was that's past. I, I'm tired of all y'all saying y'all can't join the Discord because y'all grades, bro. Cozy tutor session, bro. You said Ash was violating? Bro, listen. They keep running, though, turning corner after corner after corner until there it is, the entrance. But it's then that one of the explorers realizes he is all alone. He must have outran his friend. <laughs> We're sure. <laughs> he looks at the entrance. It's so close. He starts to step towards it, but no, he can't leave his friend. He'll find him. He turns around and right in front of him is the same classroom again. The one with the apple. Only this time... His friend is in there, no! in, the desk, in the middle of the room, asleep. Gathering the oh god, bro, go back, oh god, oh god, oh god, bro. This is me, every single class in high school, bro, with the apple on my desk. Desk in the middle of the room, asleep. Gathering the last of his courage, he runs into the room and tries to wake his friend, but he won't come out of his deep sleep. He pulls him out of the desk. If he won't walk out, he'll drag him out. He pulls him out of the classroom and down the hall towards the entrance. They're almost home free. He's just feet away from the door. He reaches out with his free hand and grabs the handle. Locked. He starts banging on the door, terrified that they'll be trapped in this place forever. <laughs> and suddenly, the doors swing open. Two stern-looking men in suits are standing in front of him. You aren't supposed to be here, one of the men says, as the other picks up his friend, throws him over his shoulder, and escorts the both of them out of the school. What these urban explorers didn't know is that they had just unintentionally entered a mysterious anomaly that the SCP Foundation has designated SCP-026, a strange location that has been given the nickname After School Retention. SCP-026 is a three-story building that used to be a public school prior to- That's crazy. Y'all got saved by the men in black. What are y'all doing? Why are y'all- I didn't know that the men in black worked with the SCP Foundation. I'm goaded, bro. Okay. ...to it being shut down and condemned after both staff and students reported various anomalous properties in the building. They described hallways that seemed to change in length, classrooms disappearing and reappearing, and stairways with different numbers of steps leading up and down. sub -branch? The discrepancies between okay, the building's bro. blueprints and the reported interior were strange enough, but the former school truly came onto the Foundation's radar after <sighs> the disappearances of multiple people in the area were linked to the location. It was initially believed, after sending in robots equipped with video equipment to explore the school, that the spatial anomalies were actually caused by an anomalous mental effect the space was having on people's perception, and that the physical layout of the school was not actually changing. However, additional exploration has proven that this is not the case. The physical space of the school does in fact seem to change, and even the exploration robots are affected by this shifting geometry. The inside of the school is covered in a substantial amount of graffiti, and most of it is the type you'd expect to see in any abandoned space. Gang signs, names, and street art, for example. But it appears to fade in and out, and will change location. The writing on the chalkboards in the classroom appears to do the same, and just like the graffiti, much of what is written on the chalkboards is what you would expect to find in a school. Most of the writing relates to basic subjects like math, literature, and biology. However, 
Some of the subjects that have appeared are highly advanced and out of place in a non-university setting, such as the notes on quantum entanglement that were found on a chalkboard. Quantum board. entanglement. Bizarrely, the phrase, the children used to sing, has been found multiple times in a variety of places around the building, though researchers are still left without an answer as to what it means or what significance it holds. But the anomalous nature of the writing inside of SCP-026 doesn't stop there. The written content of books, notepads, and other pieces of paper brought into the school have been observed to disappear, leaving blank pages behind, only for the writing to reappear as graffiti or on the chalkboards. It is unknown why or how this is happening, but those working within SCP-026 are advised to be careful of what written materials they bring inside. Multiple unconscious persons have also been found in the building. Several of the people found in the school have been identified as either former students or faculty of the school, including teachers and janitors, all of whom had been reported missing in the years following the school's closure. Despite some of them disappearing as long as 10 years after the school closed, when they are found inside SCP-026, they appear much younger than they should be, with the like majority students? being high school okay. aged and dressed in the style of the school's dress code in the time before it was shut down. It is currently not known how they ended up inside of SCP-026 or why they present as being a younger version of themselves. Attempts to wake unconscious people while still inside the school are always unsuccessful. However, once they are transported outside of SCP-026, they will immediately awaken. All have displayed signs of confusion in their brief moments of consciousness before quickly dying from what appears to be severe dehydration. Their bodies will then experience rapid advanced decomposition. No useful. First of all, first of all, I just realized, bro, I'm not even in my little corner, yo. Y'all bugging. I ain't tell me. And second of all, bro, what's up with bull? Advanced dehydration turn you into those? Whoa, okay. Decomposition. No useful information on the nature of SCP-026 has been gleaned from any of these subjects in the brief period after removing them from the school. Yo, not my nigga Tyleek, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, what's up? What's up with that hairline, bro? Man, got the bat, the bat, the bat, uh, fucking haircut. I don't know. It got two pointies, and it's like, all right, bro. That they are conscious and alive. There have also been several cases of D-Class personnel <laughs> who had participated in SCP-026 research disappearing from Foundation control, only to be found within the school at a later date. All are found sleeping and experience the same fate as the others who mysteriously appear within the school. The same inability to wake up while inside the school appears to also apply to those who enter SCP-026 and fall asleep, though they do not suffer the same gruesome fate upon being removed from the site and waking. Such was the case for a Foundation agent who, during a routine security check... Yo, the Will Smith? Oh, so, so it actually is the men in black. Alright, okay. ...was found sleeping <laughs> in the entrance of the school by his partner. They were unable to wake the agent up, and he was moved outside the building. Yo, Will! I see you, boy. As soon as he was outside of SCP-026, the agent regained consciousness and appeared to be in a state of extreme agitation. In later interviews, he reported that he had dreamed he was in a strange classroom, and the same dream has been reported by all subjects who have fallen asleep in the school, as well as by the D-Class personnel who were later found inside. <sighs> they all describe that in the dream, they are sitting inside of a classroom that closely resembles those found in SCP-026, though in the dream it is in a condition that matches how it likely appeared while it was still a functioning school. The bell rings, but no one moves, and raising their hand does not get the teacher's attention. Everyone is just sitting silently. If they try to leave the classroom, they find the doors locked. They then notice what is really off about the dream. Everything is in black and white. Yeah, that's the last thing you notice? Okay. Except for the dreamer, who looks down at their own hands and realizes that they are in color. Just as they begin to realize that they are dreaming... Cozy, did you see the other SCP on the walls? Were there actually? Where were we at? 931? He said there was SCPs on the walls. Is that the Wendigo? Uh... SCPs on the walls. I think you're bugging. Was there SCPs on the walls? Um, I mean, I guess you would say that's the school. I don't know who that is. That's zero four nine. 
That is not the plague doctor, bro. Get off get off me, bro. Let me see. What did I miss? What is that? Cartoon cat? I know that's not SCP, but y'all saying there's SCPs on the walls. I mean it's some some satanic, you know, six 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 over here. There's a face. A little like Ryuk. I mean, I don't I don't pyrocynical I I don't know. The first one you showed was zero four nine. I mean I guess bro. You know what I mean? Dreaming, and that they are the one who is out of place. They wake up. This dream will persist, recurring. <laughs> over and over, and each time it takes the dreamer longer and longer to realize Yo, Ash, that bro, they are done with you, bro. They also notice each time that their hands are a little more gray. Research into SCP-026 is up. ongoing, and all potential entrances, including both doors and windows, are to remain locked and boarded up in between investigative missions. Alarms have been placed around the location to alert Foundation personnel in the event that civilians or any other unauthorized personnel gain entry to the site. Due to the fact that even with these precautions, people continue to be found within SCP-026, right, and there has not yet been a reliable way discovered to prevent it, this anomaly yeah. has been classified as Euclid. While you do not appear to be at risk of any serious danger if you have not previously fallen asleep in SCP-026, pay attention to your dream. Oh, nah, bro. If I'm in that bitch, I'm like, <laughs> Bro, I'm out. I'm done. I'm gone. I'm asleep. I'm, I'm faded, bro. And if at any time you find yourself back in a classroom setting where things seem, well, off, <laughs> Contact the nearest SCP Foundation personnel to receive Class A amnestics in order to minimize any risk of you experiencing an after-school retention. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob, and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single anomaly as All we delve right. further and further. Bob going crazy with that one. Yeah, 250k. Damn, my boy nice. Shout out Dr. Bob, though. Awesome real heat. Awesome real heat. Awesome real heat.